Hey everybody, I'm David McGon. Today I'm going to break down a really cool wall trick that you can use to build up into Ekapod Account in Yasuna. Ekapod Account in Yasuna, if you're not familiar, is a really funky arm balance where the legs are sort of scissored off to the side and you're essentially resting most of your inner thigh on your upper arm. This basically creates sort of a teeter-totter situation where your arms are the fulcrum and the teeter-totter itself is your body. Now, initially, if uh, you haven't had a lot of experience in transferring your body's weight forward, the back leg can feel as though we're made of lead and it can be really hard to get it off of the floor. So when you're first learning this, is an additional practice aid to help you get the feeling for where your body needs to be. It's great to use some wall space. Now today here in Boston, I've got this awesome pole, so I'll use that. But if you're practicing along at home on your computer or something else, you can just grab any flat surface or any wall that you have to practice with and that will work very well too. Now, essentially to get into it, you need to back up against the wall that you're going to be working with. Ideally, you want to find a placement where you can put the ball of your foot up on the wall itself with your back leg bent. Now, once you've got that, you swing your other leg around and forward. Now, you'll at first have to experiment with this a little tiny bit, but essentially, as I mentioned before, you just want the ball of your foot curled under and back. That's going to be your contact point that will help you press up into the full balance. Now, as far as hand position goes, remember your arms are like the fulcrum on a teeter-totter. So you're going to create that fulcrum by placing both hands on the floor. Your left hand goes inside of your left foot, and your right hand walks a little further over to the side. Initially, when you're first learning this, you usually have to do some squiggling. So squiggle your left foot over to the side. As you do that, begin bending your elbows and lower down as though you're doing a super lowrider form of chaturanga. Now, once your chest is nearly on the floor, not quite, from there, just practice straightening your left leg out to the side. So if you elongate the leg, you can balance your inner thigh and the elbow and extend the foot fully outward. Now finally, if you're ready to go for it, begin pressing the ball of your right foot into the wall, lean forward a little bit, and let the back knee lift off of the floor. And from there, just simply practice breathing as deeply and as slowly as you can. To bail, you take your knee to the floor, you press yourself up with some semblance of control, and of course, give it a shot on the other side. Now, when practicing in the middle of the room, you still have to lean the body's weight forward in much a similar fashion you did previously, and it's that forward lean in the body weight that will help the leg fly off the floor in the back. So if you're to the point where you're ready to build up toward that, I would recommend practicing against the wall a few times and then transfer into the middle of the room. Practice leaning forward a little bit and see if the weight of the front of your body sinking down can lift the uh, weight of the back body up. So as always, uh, hit me up if you have any questions. I hope you have fun with it, and I will catch you another day.